Penny says it's a tough, uh, only when one of her sons makes an Olympic team, like back in 2010 during the Vancouver Games when only Taylor made the team. It's hard being a mother. It really is, especially with those <laughs> Olympians. But Penny doesn't have to worry about that. In Pyeongchang, both Brian and Taylor will compete in the Winter Games. Well, he slipped in Sochi. A lot of people who follow the sport of men's short track speed skating are watching J.R. Selsky. And they certainly are. They're looking at him really closely. <laughs> this is his third Olympics, and as Chris Egan shows us, expectations are very high, namely the medal stand. Mm. The Olympics are here on NBC, and this is your all-access pass. Welcome, everyone. We are all set and ready to go for another night of the Winter Olympics on WXIA, 11 Alive, and NBC. I'm Jeff Hollinger. And I'm Francesca Emmerker. For the second straight night, all eyes in primetime will be on Michaela Schifrin. She's a heavy favorite to win gold in tonight's slalom, which is actually her best event. On the primetime menu tonight, the men's short program in figure skating. Several Americans take their turn on the ice, including Nathan Chen. Cheryl Preheim, of course, is in Pyeongchang for these Olympic Games. Penny Fletcher has experienced the joy of watching both of her sons compete at the Olympics, once at the same time in the same event of Nordic Combine. Well, there's a lot of work, and it can be tense at times, but she says in the case of her oldest son, it's something that helps save his life. Matt Renault has that story. And he is becoming that voice, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. I mean, these stories have been wonderful. Yeah. I, I think it's given all of us a view of Duluth and Gwinnett County and this Korean community that is absolutely growing and succeeding in America greatly. And the food as well. Yeah. You can hear more from Representative Park and numerous faces of Atlanta's Korean community by watching our special report, Korea ATL. And it's online and on YouTube and on our website, 11alive.com slash Korea ATL, the Metro Atlanta. Oh, and yeah. today is taking a look at the political muscle that the community is beginning to garner. And Georgia has had two Korean American legislators in its history. Republican BJ Pack served from 2011 to 2017, and Democrat Sam Park is in office today. He speaks in his own words about representation on several fronts.